Sojourner Truth's birth name is Isabella Bomfrey, born in 1797 in the North she experienced a life of enslavement that focused on domestic household production. Uh, she was freed as a result of gradual abolition laws that uh, finally took effect in 1827 and committed herself to the abolitionist cause. But what's wonderful about her legacy and the life that she led is that she really introduces in perhaps the most powerful example for this time period, the confluence of women's rights and civil rights. She really uh, put to the nation not just the question of black people's freedom in the context of abolitionism, but what it meant for black women to be enslaved and what would the future of women's equality be on the basis of shared racial equality. As a suffragist and as an abolitionist, she challenged her own sisters, white women, many of whom were committed to civil rights, but some of whom were also opposed to the kind of racial equality that Sojourner Truth spoke of. And so famously in 1851, she said before a convention of white women suffragists, ain't I a woman talking about the black body as a debased body, generally understood to be masculine, whether uh, the person who encapsulated that body was a man or a woman. Women were not seen in their, their feminine traits, that, that she deserved to have doors held open for her to, uh, to be subject to all of the polite respectability of the Victorian age. Uh, so she really challenged a lot of conventions at that messy intersection of race and gender uh, for the time period.